And so I've, I've learned how to live with people. Um, when I was about 11, I was arrested. For what? Uh, I ran away from home. Mm -hmm. uh, I was working as a, as a bus sweeper mm -hmm. for coast buses. Oh, so you're sweeping the buses? Yes. Uh -huh. And so from a bus sweeper... And <laughs> you get to the bus stop. <laughs> 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 How do you get him to stop? <laughs> That's not a good joke. Sips uh -huh. coffee. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's get to the bus. So I sweep buses <laughs> and then I was arrested. Taken to uh, Kamkunji police station. Yeah. Then the children's court. From the children's court I was taken to Pangani police station. Well, all this at 11. At the age of 11. Mm -hmm. Then my mother was found. So she came to court. Mm -hmm. Then I was sent to seven years in a food school. For what? For the charge was actually, it was a misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. It was vagrancy. That mm -hmm. was the charge sheet. Mm -hmm. But the government said that I needed protection and care. Mm -hmm. So I was thrown in a food school where I went and met hardcore young criminals, people who had raped, killed, committed assault, mm -hmm. stolen. Yeah. And they were all in the same space. Oh. And that's how the movie you watch is called yes. Soft Tea. Yes. Because where I was in approved school, I was yes. a Soft, soft tea. tea. Everyone was tougher than me. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So your life is very interesting. Nomadic, uh, ended up in a prison quite young, yeah. having a lot of interaction, growing up with a single single mother. Yeah. Just reflecting back, because right now you're 40, reflecting yes. back, what do you think this particular phase of your life had an impact in terms of who you are today? I think I got empathy from that. Mm -hmm. I understand people. Mm -hmm. I would be much more richer. Mm -hmm if I was not empathetic. Mm -hmm. But me, I'm the one who just gives out everything that I have. Mm -hmm. Like I, I stopped taking a few years ago, mm -hmm. but I give more in like things that I pay for, school fees, rent, yeah. and many other things, mm -hmm. than the time they used to pay in church. Mm -hmm. Because I grew up in such, in such poverty, mm -hmm. that I think now I'm so wealthy, yeah. that whatever I have, I have to give. Me, I tell God, mm -hmm. give me more, I give out. Mm -hmm. You give me, I give out. Mm -hmm. So I give, I give, I give, I give. Mm -hmm. Also, that I, because I was bullied actually yeah. as a young child, mm -hmm. we were poor. Mm -hmm. We lived in a single room, mm -hmm. very tiny room, yeah. and I'll send you pictures. Mm -hmm. And so, from that poverty and the, the mockery I got, I got to be very compassionate. Mm -hmm. So, I fight other people's battles because yeah. I was a victim of bullying. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like I must defend people. And that's why I call myself the People's Watchman. Interesting. Oh, no, <laughs> 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 so with one tweet, I smash oh, yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you are, and you're protecting what's it called the individuals. Mm. And you've mentioned in terms of how that impact had in terms of what's it called you being a giver right now. Yeah. And you've mentioned like you're wealthy now. But what are some of the initial what's it called businesses you got involved in quite young? Because you seemed like you've gotten your footing very early. So when I was in Pangani Primary School. Mm. I used to go to Ngara, mm -hmm. I would buy wrestling stickers, Hulk Hogan, mm -hmm. The Rock, the rock Stone, uh, Cold, yeah. Stone Cold, yeah, yes. 316, mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot of them. Then and I'd the go, Taker, I was and the taker. there was a guy, Michael Salmon, yeah. uh, Bulldog, there was oh. Michael, British Bulldog, British Bulldog yeah. yes, I'd buy the stickers. What was it called, the fat one, Big Show? Yes, we did not have a TV in our house, uh -huh. we did not even have electricity, mm -hmm. but I would go to school early enough. And then people come say, Uluna Resojana, Uluna Resojana. Ask us a story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know who won. <laughs> then I go retell the stories when I'm selling the stickers. Ah. I'll do that. Uh -huh. And then I would help my mother, my mother sell books after school. Mm -hmm. And then your mother had also relocated from Nyeri, came no, back to Nairobi. No, from the vet and all that. My, yes. my mother then ended up in Nairobi now. Mm -hmm. So in Nairobi now, my mother was still selling books. Mm -hmm. So one thing led to another thing. And mm -hmm. then at the age of 15, I was expelled. Mm -hmm. 14, actually. Mm -hmm. I was expelled from a food school. Yeah. I was kicked from a jail mm -hmm. and they said, you had enough trouble and kicked me out. Mm -hmm. When I joined the streets, I joined my mother in selling books. Mm -hmm. My first investment, which was a bad one, was get, buying, someone told me that he was selling some, something called Lucky Matchboxes. Mm -hmm. The Lucky Matchbox said, easy, in Mombasa there's no matchboxes, yeah. you know, these things. Mm -hmm. These are the best ones. If you sell them, you'll be lucky. You'll be, yes, <laughs> and you'll, be, you'll become a lucky nair. Yeah. Let me take you. Let me, let me follow your tips. <laughs> or you become lucky doobie. <laughs> <laughs> Without the vibes. <laughs> so I you went to Mombasa. <laughs> anyway. So I went to I went to Mombasa uh -huh. to sell matchboxes, mm -hmm. and I realized they were cheaper there. Yeah. 
So I, I devised a trick. Mm. Mama said always rains in the afternoon most of the times. Yeah. So I put the matchbox and say, yeah, I'm going to work out okay, on a magic chua. I'm going to work out. I sold them at a loss. Mm. Then I put some mangoes mm. into a bus. I bought mangoes, came back to Nairobi. Yeah. I lost most of that money. Mm-hmm. I think it was about 20,000. Yeah. I got 5,000 from that thing. It was a big loss. I went back to selling books. I sold books. Mm-hmm. So those are the days where you used to have crusades. Yeah. So I used to follow like in a peace mood wherever they go, sell oh, magazines yeah. in those crusades. I remember my mother has ever dragged me for one of those peace mood crusades. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, a little simmer. <laughs> so I used to go to those ones, sell yeah. crusades, sell magazines, sell Bibles. Mm. And then at the age of 17, my mother died. Mm-hmm. And now I was an orphan. Mm-hmm. And the only thing my mother left for me mm. was a, a steel bed and rent arrears. <laughs> <laughs> so I was alone in this city yeah. and not survive. I continued selling books during graduation to sell flowers. Mm. But I, and then I joined Bible school. You wanted to become a pastor? I thought I was going to become a pastor. Uh-huh, and Jen Pismiru. <laughs> I make money by doing fake miracles. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> um, I joined Bible school. Yeah. Um, and then I, in Bible school, I was like the class photographer.